YouTube friends? Man, it's been a big weekend. We got my basement done. So excited. Man, I was so excited to get this thing done. We've had it out in the backyard, done a couple test trips on it. We're gonna fire it up here in a couple minutes for you guys. And I've already had it running. We've been riding around the yard. We've done some heat cycles on it. And I just ran it three minutes ago. So when I fire this thing up and Trenton's giving it the beaners, I don't wanna hear about how I'm gonna destroy my engine. There's temp in the engine already. So we already got past that. So here's to all my YouTube friends, cheers. Good stuff. I'm telling you, I'm so damn jacked up right now. I took this thing around the yard and I freaking, I, I, first I took a couple cool laps on it. And then I took a hot lap or two on it. I'm telling you, whew, I can't wait to get this thing out and do some real testing and tuning on this thing. The yard pays this thing no justice, but let's just say the skis never touched the backyard all the way across. And Trent can just justify to that one, or testify to that one. He even wrote it too. He said, this thing's freaking, this thing's nuts. And it's like, the tack, it just, right now, it's just over nine grand right now. The speed is incredible. It's fun, but like I said, I'm still running what was in the old carb setup, the old clutch setup. Everything's still the old setup with the new engine that's in it. So. We'll be dialing things in, but right now the thing is just amazing and exciting and it's fun. So we got 50% accomplished in the shop this weekend. This is 50% of it. This 50% over here is nothing but battling us right to the end. Unfortunately, it came down to yesterday. I was just kind of buttoning things up and all of a sudden I said to Trent, I said, God, you know what? I think I'm about 10 minutes from firing up wet basement. He said, I think I am too. I got the first fire, he was not very far behind, but we, I don't know. We got too many variables going on. So with the rack carbs, it wasn't running for shit at all. So we took the racks off, we put the round slide carbs on. We already know what the build should be in the round slides. We put everything in there that should be in there. It runs okay, still not running right. So he's been uh, messaging some people on uh, Facebook and stuff, Ethan being one of them. He's trying to help him out with it. And he's gonna, right now he's gonna switch his coils around to see if possibly that has something to do with why it's not running correctly. But we'll get it dialed in, we'll get it figured out. It's being a disappointment right now. And that, that can happen. I mean, when you build something like this, it's not gonna be perfect when it's done. You would hope so. You would hope that's the way it's gonna go, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't go that way. And, and for us, it usually doesn't go that way. But this thing here has always been our star student. And, uh, and I just got lucky years ago when I built it. It was eight years ago. I was always saw seven years ago, but just over the week, my phone showed up an eight year memory from me building this thing. And uh, God, this thing's just always been such a fun sled, you know? So I'm gonna switch sides with Trent right now. I'm gonna have him pull up the hood so we can take a look underneath the hood of Wet Basement because she's gorgeous and amazing as usual. I think it's strapped down still, Trent. It's still locked. I think we'll pull up the hood and, uh, yep. That's check, 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 swing. Oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. Oh my land. Look at this thing. And oh my goodness, does it freaking move out. It performs as damn good as it looks. Let me tell you. We got it all bled out. Like I said, we've done some heat cycles on it. Oh my God, this thing is so fun. I, I just can't talk a much, too much about this sled. And uh, why don't you pull the hood back down, Trent? Let's get her latched down. We'll check out the EGT setup I came up with. Let me help with the hood. This hood has always been just a pain in my ass to close. I don't know why, but just always has been. But here we got the coastal gauge all set up. And I just used her two stock mounts to get the gauge all mounted up on here and stuff. And looks pretty as hell right through the windshield here. You can kind of see the business going on back here. But I used the two mounts, combined them together, a couple strategic rivets, and we're ready to go. I gotta get Shane Jackson's chrome dash plate on here yet. That's the next step. Um, got the lower half 
in at the uh, decal lady right now getting wet basement put on the uh, lower half of that dash plate but we'll get that on there so everybody can see Shane Jackson's uh, dash plates once they're all mounted on wet basement this isn't the last video of this sled never ever ever I mean there's gonna be lots lots and lots of videos of this we got uh, Kevin Kraus pull handle on here I did put a water temp gauge in it now now I can watch actually watch my water temp all right Trenton I think Everybody's about tired of listening to me babble. I think they want to hear this thing frickin' purr. Let's 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 get some fire in the hole. We'll put a little a little warm-up tune into it. And then I think we'll get a couple good revs out of Trenton here so we can hear what this thing sounds like. throaty oh my god Trenton does that sound different than from before yeah yeah there's a little bit more compression there's a little bit more zing behind that little flipper lever isn't there now <laughs> oh yeah yeah that thing is freaking awesome and I'm telling you the few rips I took across the backyard I was like but I got off the sled I know the backyard isn't long enough because I gave it a handful and I was on the brake longer than I was on the flipper I ran out of yard and there's the trees are coming up and I'm like, I even told Trent, I says, he was having issues with this thing. And I took mine out and I, I came back and said, all right, Trenton, take wet basement out for a rip. <clears throat> It'll make you feel a lot better for what you got going on right here. I said, I'm just forewarning you. I said, it takes off a hell of a lot faster than it comes to a stop. So make sure you got plenty of fricking shutdown area. <laughs> and. Uh, with the new track on it, the deeper lug, the brand new studs. I got brand new wear rods on it now to put some seven and a half inch carbides on the skis. Oh my land, I'm telling you, this freaking thing rips. I cannot wait to get it out on the lake and see what it can actually do now. It's, oh my God, it's unbelievable. This thing, this should be my next video. This thing purring like a kitten. I'm hoping, really, really hoping. Uh, I hope for Trenton's sake, because uh, he's getting a little frustrated with this thing, but we'll get it. We'll definitely get it. I'm going to put all my efforts into this thing for the rest of the week. I told him, we'll go through it. We'll figure out what's going on. We'll get it running. Uh, it's what we do around here. Sometimes it's not a freaking instant fire up, you know, so sometimes you got to work on it a little bit. But wet basement, it's a complete project, man. She's done. Ready for some ripping. Thanks guys, thanks for all the views, thanks for the comments. I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did because the thing sounds freaking amazing. And if you had smell a vision right now, it'd smell like race gas in your living room right now where you're watching this video at because it smells like race gas in here right now. And woo, damn, does it smell good. Thanks guys.